It's cryptid time once again here on the channel, and this time I have a creature that may make your skin crawl. Insects and arachnids are a fear of many, and yes, some of them can be dangerous. From the sting of a bee to the venomous bite of a black widow, we do have to be careful. But thankfully, these bugs are small, and a rolled up newspaper or a boot can easily take care of them. But what about if these creepy crawlers were a little bigger, the boot may just be on the other foot. Could there be bugs out there that are not only bigger than we are used to, but are as large as a fully grown adult? Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on history and mystery. Hit that red button and ring the bell so you never miss a video again. Insects, arachnids, and myropods are some of the most successful creatures on this planet. They have walked, crawled, and flown for more than 479 million years. They originated during the early Ordovician period, and their appearance took place alongside the Earth's first land plants. The diversification of insects played a significant role in shaping the planet's first terrestrial ecosystems, and to this day, they play an important role in almost every ecosystem. It is said without them, the planet would spiral into mass extinction, and possibly see the extinction of all land-based life. These billions of species may be vital to the planet, but most are not well liked. Not many people can look at a cockroach and be overcome with that warm fuzzy feeling that you get when you see a puppy. Most recoil in disgust and fear, but imagine if that cockroach was the size of that cute puppy, or even bigger. Giant insects have roamed the earth, and according to some witnesses, still do. Creatures like the massive millipede known as Arthropleuria. This huge multi-legged monster walked the earth around 315 to 299 million years ago, at sizes ranging from 12 inches to giants that were 8.5 feet long. The Arthropleuria lived in the Carboniferous period and was the largest known land invertebrate to have ever roamed planet Earth. If this thing is not terrifying enough, imagine if you will sitting outside on a nice summer's day, sipping a refreshing beverage when you hear a buzzing you know it's going to be an annoying fly or possibly the potential sting-delivering wasp. The thing is, the buzzing grows louder and louder until it's deafening. That's because the flying insect that is about to pay you a visit is the Eganeuropsis permiana, a ginormous dragonfly from 94 million years ago, the largest of all the giant bugs of prehistory it could grow to have a wingspan of 28 inches, and from head to tail, it measured 17 inches. Thankfully today, these giants have long been extinct, but hold on to that super-sized can of raid and keep it ready, because like the reports of living dinosaurs and other said to be extinct creatures, giant insects are being seen. Madison County in the United States is the location where a man says he spotted a seven-foot-tall stick insect. The witness, who wished to remain anonymous, told the story of how he was driving home on the local highway when the giant creature crawled into view. The witness reported to Cryptozoology News, An object appeared in my headlights on the right-hand side, crossing the highway, looking like a giant walking stick with four legs. Its head turned as it ran, and it looked at me just before going out of the lighted view. The man provided a sketch of the insect that he sighted. The sketch shows it to be around 7 feet tall, with a length that is equal to its height. The man then went on to say, It was red and moved in approximately one second or less across the whole lighted area of my headlights. It had four legs and they were elevated off the ground. When it turned to me, he said, it had no face. This is not the only report of giant insect-like creatures. Reports periodically appear of people running into these beasties. 
In my recent Vietnam video, I looked at the Con Rit, a giant aquatic millipede. Another interesting report comes from the old favorite Mysterious Universe. They document an account of a man on a flight spotting one of these monsters. A 32-year-old doctor was flying from Rome to Boston. It was an average flight until at 30,000 feet and over the Atlantic Ocean, the man saw a mystery creature. The doctor reported that at the same moment, he was overcome by a sudden and inexplicable sense of overwhelming dread and a feeling of nauseousness. The medical professional self-diagnosed a panic attack. That was until he looked around the aircraft and saw other passengers experiencing the same symptoms. Suddenly, he heard a loud, jolting thud on the window of the plane. Others who were sat around him also heard the noise. When he peered out of the window to see if he could spot the cause, he saw something that shouldn't be. In a scene reminiscent of that well-known William Shatner episode of Twilight Zone in which a gremlin terrorizes a man aboard a plane, some sort of massive beetle-like insect with a metallic green body and large segmented eyes had attached itself to the wing and it was somehow able to maintain a grip on the aircraft. The doctor described the incident thusly. It had attached to the window with a claw-like structure on its big black legs. There were hairs and hooks and some sort of adhesive pad that apparently helped that animal to stay on the plane. Then it unfastened its legs from the glass and his green metallic body opened up. Two wings came out. I should say rolled out like a rug. They were translucent and I could see it was full of red veins. It looked like a tree branch or a leaf. The thing glided for about two seconds, then it started flapping its wings slowly. It was incredibly slow, not like a regular insect where you can't even see the shape of the wings. His eyes stared at us. They looked like red flashlights. After what seemed like an eternity, but in reality was just a minute or so, the giant insect vanished. The bug was seen by ten others on the plane, with one passenger claiming to have snapped a photo. This photo has never been seen. The final cryptid giant insect is the Mantis Giganti. This huge, creepy crawly is basically the same as a regular praying mantis, but it is a giant. It has the body structure we are familiar with, being brown or green in color, described as having armored plating, and most witnesses say the bug does have wings. Reports have said that the insect can grow to be the size of a medium dog, standing about four to five feet in height. The Mantis Grandi was first reported in 1933 when a woman informed local law enforcement that she saw a giant insect-like creature. Describing the bizarre animal, she told them it was green in color, had big wings, and that it was around the same size as her golden retriever dog. She likened it to a praying mantis. She provided a more detailed description in which she says how the strange massive insect had no antenna along with small red eyes located above mantis-like mouthparts. This lady was not the only person to see the mantis. In 1940, Stephen Spencer was playing with his friend in the nearby local wood. This is when he heard an echoing trill coming from the trees. Looking at the tree line to see what was making such a sound, the boy saw an insect-like creature that was said to be about three to four feet tall. Stephen described what he saw. It was a thin, sticky creature. It was skinny with long quills on its back. It looked like a praying mantis. I kept one in a cage once. It was brown with long antenna. The story doesn't end there. The boy was scared and ran to his home and told his father who grabbed a gun. Going back out to the location the boy had been playing at, the man and boy were confronted with the strange cryptid. Spooked, the man grabbed his sidearm and shot at it, but it took off into the sky with a few strokes of its large, thick, transparent wings. Sightings then became less common, the giant creature being seen in 1955 and then again in 2000. Both of these interactions tell of a giant mantis of the same description. 
the latter being from a woman who said, it was like nothing I have ever seen. It was like a devil from hell. So what could these behemoths be? Are giant insects once again evolving on this planet? It is theorized that gigantism during the Carboniferous period could have been possible due to the atmospheric oxygen levels being as high as 35%. According to this theory, giant insects could not survive today's decreased oxygen levels. But could that be wrong? Could temperatures have more to do with it? Could a warming planet see another rise of the giant insects? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.